Hey guys, uh, this project is pretty much done, as you can see. Um, yeah, let's run through it here. Okay, so I did have a few guys come over and uh, help me out with this last part, which was uh, the side parts. Um, I'll show you guys here. I'm just gonna get my helper here. So, with a couple of guys, um, maybe back up to where you were. Keep going. Just stay in that spot. Yeah. So, a couple of guys holding this and making it flush to the trailer with the bar. And then in here, there's four bolts. One, two, three, four. And it's all explained in the instructions, but when you're drilling it through um, with the drill, you want to make sure that this is flush with the trailer. That is kind of a, a for sure you need to do. Um, you get these loops, they go through, there's this metal rod that's in here, so they go through there. And what you do is you take a tie down and yeah run it over to the other side and you run it through the other loop that's under here and then you ratchet it nice and tight right as you ratchet it it pulls both the sides together so it'll pull this side in and the other side and it'll actually pull the material so that it starts uh, tightening up and forming better to what, what you want, right? So anyways, that's that part. You gotta put the ratchet strap underneath. The instructions show you how to do it. Um, and then a couple nice features. There is a gas door here. If you're gonna fill up your sleds, you got that option. And I'll show you guys the front part. So the front also has four straps. And these they come with self tappers and washers underneath. You don't have to show it, it's not a big deal. It's pretty easy to pick up. Um, so I'll just show the kind of how this comes apart. You got one strap, two straps. You got this Velcro on the side, you the Velcro going all the way up the side. Once you get these straps on, I should say. Um, once you get these straps on and it's nice and tight, you do have to take some scissors and cut cut this on just the Triton trailers because you got this uh, tongue here that sticks out, and then that makes it you know seal nice and tight against there. So that has to be done. Once you got that done, then you can roll these. Kind of like so. Other side. It's not too difficult. sled or do whatever you have to do at the front um, so that's that part I did buy a locking ball receiver so this will keep the 
keep the sled safe for the most part. And it basically goes on the hitch. It'll go in through there. I'll show that later, maybe in another video if there's any interest. But what else do we do? There's no door on this side, which kind of sucks. Because if you wanted to fuel up on this side, what if the hose doesn't reach across? Or what if your vehicle has uh, the gas cap on the other side? Then you can't, you know, kind of. You would have to turn your trailer around, come into the gas station the other way. Um, the back, same concept, except you have to cut. You have to kind of cut this with scissors. You got to figure out where you want to place these last straps. They get self-tapped into the aluminum frame on this particular trailer. But that's basically it. Once you tap them in and you cut this, you got to pull the rod out. Uh, put the rod back in afterwards. You got Velcro on the sides, which, are, which is nice. And then at that point, you got can roll up as well you guys. You could take this and roll it up and I believe yeah there's a strap on this side here. I haven't done it yet but there's another strap and basically that strap would go into this into that there. Just like the front right? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Fit and finish, I would give it, uh, yeah, I'd give it a solid eight out of 10. Quality, again, eight out of 10. Material's good, framing is good. Um, good construction, once it's together, it feels pretty sturdy. Um, instructions, I give about, six and a half out of ten and uh, as far as putting it together I would give it about a seven to ten I did it did go way better with a couple of guys uh, helping you out like putting these bars through here is a bit of a pain you got to take the bars apart and slide one through at like one at a time you got to pull the bars down until you get to where the screw is to put the set screw in so it's kind of hard to explain but it, it is a bit of a pain to to do that but uh, it's not difficult by any means so what else is there about this uh, it's pretty much done I think there's not much else to really go over other than that it's ready I've got to go to the mountains do some sledding and uh, thanks for watching as always guys and uh, we will see you on the next video.